Hey everyone and yes first of all I am in a suit for the simple reason that today is Teej and I am a Rajasthani, I celebrate Teej and we wear green clothes and um, I just wanted to keep it traditional and you know for your information FYI this is a suit that I bought back in 2008 for Diwali and this is how loose it is now and this actually shrunk after first wash so yes I, I was larger in 2008 than I am now and I'm loving it. So, okay, I'm sorry for the weird dance. Um, so, yes, today's video tutorial is going to be how to DIY ombre your hair as well as lighten your bangs at home for Indian hair or any type of black hair. I have like really dark hair, and it was actually almost I tried almost every single natural hair lightening technique before doing this. So, if you are a person who's like, I'm all natural because I did not want to, you know, kind of damage my hair with the chemicals and all that. That said, so I tried every single natural technique to do this, but trust me, nothing works. In real life, nothing works. Natural takes a little too long time, and plus, it's really, really tiresome, and I can't take that much. I can't take that much. I just was like, okay, I'm done with it. Even if it damages my hair, fine, I'll take care of it. And if you want an ombre hair care or any colored hair care video, then just comment below I would love to do that for you or hair care routine I've been asked I've been asked to do hair care routine for like a gazillion times and uh, I think it would it it should be done now I, I really think so so yes um, I really really like how my hair came out to be and it's just kind of air dried so don't mind the bangs and the weird ways that it's forming and um, you know I just I just love how it came out to be and I love the ombre that my hair is and it's just a nice change and it did not for you know a disclaimer it did not go all like rough and you know in Hindi it said jhadu jaise baal which translates to be your hair looks like a broom and plus that did not happen that just did not happen my hair is as soft as it was if you take good care of your hair nothing can damage it and if you don't then if even if you don't put any chemicals on it it will well so yes hair care is the key so mine did not turn rough it's as soft as it used to be it's, it's as shiny as it used to be and yes i did get a lot of compliments if i did not already tell you and uh, again sorry for that so yes if you want to know how to do your hair at home in ombre diy and this is below let me wait for it below two dollars yes i did my hair ombre in under two dollars that's how i roll so yes if you want to know how to do your hair in ombre at home really cheap cost effective it's really easy then please keep on watching and yeah just keep on watching hey everyone please bear with my bare morning face but because we're going to be doing today a diy uh, hair ombre tutorial um i did my uh, hair ombre a while back yes i did it myself so um you know, I know I put a photograph on Facebook, I put a photograph on Instagram. A lot of people were really interested in knowing. I still get questions that I ombre in my hair on my videos. Like the last one that I uploaded, uh, no, last actually, um, last about what today I'm in filming. Uh, it was my thousand subscribers the world winner video. So even on that, I got a question of did you ombre your hair? So and a lot of people were requesting a tutorial on it as well. So I was just going to uh, do it again, like a retouching session. So I thought, why not record the video? So first of all, for starters, wear a t-shirt that you don't care if it, even if it gets ruined. And, and however, I'm wearing a white t-shirt, it shouldn't work on white. So I'm just wearing this crappy t-shirt. Now the basic thing in ombre is it's very forgiving because you don't have to be put in about which streak you want to do or what length you have to start at. You can do it just easily and if you want to do it a temporary way I will link a video on how to temporary ombre your hair in the bottom bar you could check that out as well but because I needed to change so I went up sh shuffled up the things and did my hair ombre and I really really liked how they came out to be so that's why I'm just retouching on them so the few things that you uh, so just uh, a little bit about bleaching and 
how it works bleach basically works due to hydrogen peroxide i know this because i have learned screen printing and um, we had to wash the film in hydrogen peroxide and we had to wear gloves this long because it, uh, it was concentrated hydrogen peroxide so it's a chemical and it can burn your uh, skin even if the minimum degree burn but it can but the amount of hydrogen peroxide that is used in bleach is much less so it's very very safe to use okay so i'm coming back to the topic few things you're going to be needing is a pair of gloves then you're obviously going to be needing a bleach a bleach in a form that comes um, like this um, cream bleach cream and activator this is powder form and then you tell you it smells disgusting but you have to bear with it a little bit and then you're going to be needing a plastic container which is waste to mix the stuff up and you're going to be needing a comb to just uh, comb through your hair I already did so let's just get started with the video already so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to um, just normally part my hair into two sections and I'm going to <coughs> Sorry for the cough and cold and the background noises, some construction work going around, crazy work. So I'm just going to comb it through, I already did. And uh, I'd also like to tell that if you can see my hair is slightly lighter than my hair color. This is because I am retouching. If you want a perfect ombre, I would be also telling you, I will be telling you two ways. One is a two-day process in which first you just uh, do all your hair wash it out and the next day you just do it on the tips uh, like a little bit from the uh, bottom part so you have an ombre a gradient going up or the other way which i'm going to be doing today as well is first you're going to be saturating just the tips let it sit for about 10 minutes and then do it above as well so that it again gets into a gradient i will be doing the second method uh, just because i already have one shade lighter in my hair already as i trim the other shade already off and that's why i have to retouch it to just get the ombre back so yes i will be doing the second method because i already have one shade in my hair all right so next i'm just going to form on my gloves next i'm going to empty up the cream uh, bleach cream into the container so yes, I've emptied out the cream into the container and trust me, any bleach works. E any bleach would be equally harmful to your hair. I searched it up a lot and hence I can say any kind of bleach is equally, you know, damaging. But that's one thing that you should be scared of because if you take proper care, then it will be all fine, you'll be good. Alright, so next I'm taking the activator which is in a powder form. Let me just show you. Okay. Working with gloves is top. Let me just take them off for a moment or what should I do? Ah. I feel so dyslexic sometimes because of such moments. Good. Okay. Everything's fine. Okay, this is in a powder form like this. Hope you can see that. Right. So what you want to do is the cream, the activator. gives me a cupping pout uh, bout pout so yes um smells horrible okay so yeah now i'm just gonna mix it with my hands because using spatula is too mainstream we're just gonna mix this stuff up the cream and the activator activator is the thing which has hydrogen peroxide in it so it just kind of fills up the process I guess my gloves are horrible. They're too plasticky. Okay, so oh, I've put more on my hand than in the container itself. Alright, so uh, so once you've mixed up this stuff, well, you want to take some on your hand and then just rub it along. Alright, like this. Okay, it makes it more easier and then I'm just going to, okay you can see the tips of my hair as well. Okay, and I'm just going to apply it on the bottom parts first. I'm just going to saturate my tips. I'm 
This is the area on which I want my hair to be lightest and hence I am just going ahead and I've got more on my t-shirt as well than in the container or on my hand. So this is the area that I want my hair to be lightest hence I'm doing it first. Alright, so once you've just applied the bleach there, you want it to sit for a few minutes before you move up and because I like a few highlights in my bangs as well, I'm just going to apply just with a feather stroke. I had some earlier as well, so I'm just going to apply a little bit on my bangs and I've got some on my hair. Okay, no problem. That's the thing with ombre, it's very forgiving. So just, just random. Okay. This bleach is herbal so it won't damage my skin or something like that. So just wait for a couple of minutes like 5 or 6-7 minutes and then you can go up and <coughs> And then I'm going to put bleach on this part so that this part has bleach for longer time so that this gets more lighter than the above part. I hope you can make sense out of that. Yes, I hope you do. So yeah, just, I'm just going to wait for a few minutes and then just do my hair again. And I'll show you obviously what I'm doing. Just let's get these gloves off. It's very, very... Oh, my hair. Okay, so I've let this sit for about 7-8 um, minutes. Uh, the remainder of the product I'm going to be using is on the above here to get that gradient beautiful effect. So I'm just taking the product and just applying it to the above parts. You want to twist it because you don't want any dry portions in between so that some hair doesn't get colored. You want to keep on twisting it to check that yes, all the hair is getting the product. Then also I'm just going to re-saturate my ends a little bit to just emphasize on that gradient and make it all very ombreish. And once that is done, I'm going to let it sit for more 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'm going to wash my hair off, shampoo it, condition it, and, uh, and then I'll show you the final results of what my hair looks like. So this is the result that I have got. I have ombre hair and lighter bangs and I haven't done anything except just letting them air dry and I haven't straightened them or done anything else, not even blow dry. So yes, I have lighter bangs and ombre hair and I'm actually loving how it came out to be. I just like the change because I don't cut my hair into layers or anything. So this is a really nice change and I, you know, um, I actually got a lot of compliments as well that, you know, my bangs are really suiting my face and how my complete look is coming out to be. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and this was helpful for you. If you try out this ombre hair tutorial or, you know, just... Mm, about anything but that I've done in my videos and don't forget to tag me on Instagram by the hashtag SJLSJewelry I would love to see what you guys come up with and um, so yes I again hope that you enjoyed this video if you did then please rate, comment and subscribe I will see you guys day after tomorrow till then take care bye